All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So, I got some things I ordered. I ordered me an E Ray hat, two E Ray shirts, and my, another Corvette lanyard. Uh, and I wanted to get some stuff in because this hat, these hats are pretty hard to come by, apparently. Uh, they're just nowhere to be found. I was able to get one. Um, and I got two E Ray shirts. Again, they had to get some E Ray gear. But I also got my um, OEM car cover came in. So, let's check that out. So it comes in this bag right here. Now, before I put it on the car, I'm gonna actually detail the car. Yeah, I went with the OEM car cover uh, because why not? I wanted a good match for the car, a perfect fit. So um, I also took the tires to Discount Tire today and got them insured. It only cost 477 bucks. These front tires cost $565 each. And these rear tires cost $765 each. This is a big tire. He thought it was a 305 on the back. I said, no, man, that's a 345. 345, 25, 21. And the front is a fat tire on the back. And the front is a 275. Um, these are the Pilot Cup Sport 2s as well. So these are 275, 30. 20 on the front so um, I'm gonna detail the car real quick and I'm not gonna show all that but I'm gonna detail the car get it cleaned up um, and then I'm gonna put the car cover on uh, and this is where it's gonna rest I have two car shows I'm gonna go to uh, on Saturday and Sunday recording this video you know don't worry about it you, you'll see when you see it but I have two car shows to go to back to back uh, and one's on Saturday one's on Sunday so this car will not be driven anymore until then today is like Tuesday or something as I'm recording this video. So gonna go ahead and detail the car uh, and then put the car cover on, show you how it fits and goes on. This is the OEM car cover too. Uh, and again, you can find cheaper car covers out there. I just wanted to go with the OEM. I was like, you know, this costs 475, uh, but you can find them online, uh, discount it through dealers. So I got mine for only 365 or something like that. So big discount off. Um, it's like a, it's like a microfiber. And the inside and the outside has the Corvette logos all over it. So let me get the car detailed uh, and then we'll be back. And before I do the detail, uh, some of you guys often ask what I use. Do I PPF? Folks, I do not PPF the cars. Ceramic is the most I'm going to do to this car. But these are the two items I use when the car is not driven very often. You really shouldn't have to wash your car too much if you keep it in the garage. But the waterless wash comes in very handy. And if you go into a show, either one, take both of these with you. And you'll thank yourself with a nice microfiber cloth. I keep a brand new microfiber cloth in the car at all times. Uh, so going to go ahead and detail the car real briefly. This car has been washed only twice so far. The dealer washed it, but I brought it home and washed it myself and gave it a good detail. And I did do the um, graphene detail spray. I keep uh, the refill in there. It's a big refill that you can buy. It's pretty expensive, but it's worth it to me. So uh, this is what I've always used to detail my cars. And uh, I'm going to get this car detailed and cleaned up, and then I'm going to um, show you how to put the cover on. Let's keep watching this video. Also, be sure to keep a premium microfiber cloth around. Don't use cheap microfiber cloths on your cars. Invest in a quality microfiber cloth. I have a few of these. I have different kinds, too, but this is the one I do the waterless wash with. It can dry uh, and uh, as well, but I use it for the waterless wash, and it's very nice. So now let's get it cleaned up. All right, Whew. it's hot in here, but definitely not as hot as it is outside. Car's fully detailed, um, got the wireless wash done. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on the cover and show you how it's done. So you lay it across the center of the car like this, and it's actually labeled front right here. So that's how you know you have to put this at the front. And then you pretty much just stretch it out along the car and... Um, that's it, so let's get it going. All right, I'll create my own music since YouTube has so many things going on right now, so let's go. Limited production. 
I got a low van. Okay, almost done. A good song. I just had to create my own. Let's go. All right, guys, that is it. Whew. It's a warm one in here. But I started with the door handles uh, area, put it around the side mirrors first, because just in case they retracted in, you can see how it looks. It stretches it out a little bit. It's set to auto lock, but I locked it just to see how much play I would have in here. But you can see here, the Corvette logos there. You see them all in the actual car. So you'll know if you have it right. Um, start with the side mirrors and the doors first, then work your way around to the front area, clipping it under. There's no clips or anything. It's just a strong rubber around there. And then your car will be protected because you'll see this area right here basically kind of models the headlights. That lets you know you've got it right. So if you come around to the back, it tells you to keep it away from the exhaust, uh, but this car hasn't been started, so I just covered it all the way up. Uh, and I go all the way, I went all the way down, as you can see. It goes all the way around, covers everything. So if you see some areas more snug than the next, just kind of balance it out. But work your way front to back, side to side. That is what I recommend, and you will have your car protected in the garage because typically when I cut the grass, it flows in the garage uh, and the car got dirty the first time I cut the grass the other day. So I had to pull it out and wash it and that's why it got a wash. Uh, but here's the OEM car cover uh, looking really stealth and really good. I will for sure um, keep it like this the majority of its life in the garage. Uh, and just, you know, when I pull it out, I'll store it in the bag. And I like that it comes with the carrying bag. I think that's only right for the price. You get a nice Corvette carrying bag here. And this can also be used for something other than the car cover, like when you have it stored in your house um, and you want to grab a bag, you can grab your Corvette bag. Yeah. So there you have it, man. That is how you use the OEM cover. And uh, again, this is this retails for $475. And you can get any car cover. I just wanted one that I knew was OEM. And I like the little hints of red in here. Really nice. Car's protected in the garage from the elements. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.